Where does dystonia come from? And you know, what causes dystonia in Parkinson's? And this is a really great question and I am not sure that I've heard the full on answer here in Vancouver. But what we are learning and what we know is that dystonia has a really large genetic component in its development. Um, there are a lot of genes in your DNA that can leave you predisposed to developing something like dystonia. And dystonia and Parkinson's, um, we'll talk about here in a second, you can have dystonia without having Parkinson's and you can have Parkinson's without having dystonia. There are some genes that leave you predisposed to having dystonia with Parkinson's, but then there are some genes that just leave you predisposed to only having Parkinson's or only having dystonia. So something that I want you to take away from that um, point is that there's this concept of epigenetics. And epigenetics just means that your environment influences how your genes end up expressing themselves. So just because you have a genetic predisposition, maybe you have a gene that leaves you predisposed to developing dystonia or Parkinson's or any other health issue for that matter. Um, you have the genes, but what you put in your body and the way that you manage your stress and the way that you eat and the way that you think about yourself even, um, mindset, how much stress you have in your life, whether it's physical, mental, toxin, toxic burden, your environment is what pulls the trigger. So the phrase is, your genes load the gun and your environment, everything around you pulls the trigger. And so if there's anything that you should take home, it's that the way everything you're doing, exercising, eating right, um, taking your supplements, breathing deep, everything that you do like that influences the way your genes express themselves. And, um, you know, keeping that in mind as you go through your day to day, you're not just eating healthy because somebody told you to, you're eating healthy because every time you put something in your mouth, you're either feeding your DNA great things or, you know, encouraging them to potentially express some of these negative